Today's chord exercise is going to help you connect chords in the circle of keys. So mastering the circle of keys is so important because the, the function of how these chords relate to each other, um, the movement of chords, you want to be able to predict and also be ready for this movement of C to F or F to B flat and um, understand that this is the most common music or common movement in music. So we're going to put together an exercise and practice and exercises allows us to do that, but also giving us the closest version of those chords. Let me play through the exercise first to get started. Starting in root position, C major. So one to the four. C to F. Okay, so from this F chord, now we're going to shift up to the B flat and then to the E flat. So that kind of gets us started. And what's going to happen is the right hand is going to continue to move for, move upwards as the left hand is descending. So let me play through the exercise. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C in root position. It's such a great way to cover all 12 chords, connecting them together with common movement that you're going to see in every style of music. So let me do the left hand by itself. C to F. And we're going through the cycle of keys here. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, a, D, G, C. So if you have your circle of keys or the circle of fifths chart handy, you can use that. Um, and then in the right hand, C major to the closest F major, and then up to the B flat, connecting to E flat major, and then connecting to A flat major, to D flat major, now G flat major, to B major, and now E major to the A major, and then D major to G major to C. And when we put that all together again, slowly very methodically thinking through it get the muscle memory down especially in the left hand just to be able to play through that at whatever speed you're comfortable with and you can focus on layering the right hand um, chords on top your goal with this really as a keyboardist is to be able to get through it at quarter notes at a pretty decent pace to um, not even look down okay you can just go through that um, now moving forward off of this exercise um, you can actually start in different positions so instead of instead of starting in the root position we would start in the first inversion of C and then everything is going to be parallel and just shift everything is going to be the same movement but it's just going to be the next inversion up from that as you go through the series of right hand chords. So I'll just demonstrate that. C, E flat, E flat. And of course we're laying back where we started. And then I'll do second inversion here. to do that exercise you have 
really get a good feel for chord inversions. You're mixing the root, first, and second inversions together. Um, and then you can start from any key. So it's one thing to start from C and go through the cycle, but can you start from, say, B? Can you start from F sharp? The idea is if you read a piece or if you hear a piece in the key of B, what are the tendencies? You know, the tendencies are going to be going from B to E and then to A. There's going to be a lot of those chords in that particular key.